Hello, in this discussion we will discuss the discussion question of what is an adjusted trial balance and why is it prepared? So first we can think about what a trial balance is and then think about what the adjusted trial balance is one way to approach this essay question. So the trial balance, remember, is going to be a list of accounts. It's going to have uh, both the account names and the account balances as of a point in time. And of course, we'll have debits and credits depending on the normal balance of each account's total debits equaling total credits at the end of the trial balance. Now, we're going to see these different names for trial balance, including the unadjusted trial balance, the adjusted trial balance, and possibly a post-closing trial balance. Note that from just a conceptual standpoint, these are all just trial balances. And really this name of adjusted trial balance or unadjusted or uh, post-closing really refer to the time in which the trial balance will be generated. The other thing to keep in mind is that when we think of a trial balance for an adjusted trial balance, we often think about it as of a point in time outside the accounting system something that we make in basically a worksheet. So in order to think through this, we can think through, it's good to have a picture in our head of basically the broad steps of what we do in the accounting process. First, we're gonna have those normal day-to-day -day type of transactions throughout the month or year, entering bills, invoices, checks, and whatnot. And then at the end of the time period, the end of the month or year, we do the adjusting process. We typically think of, you can think of this happening as the normal stuff happens in a data input process in a database, most likely, and then we generate an unadjusted trial balance that we then use to adjust. So at the end of the time period, then, we, can, we typically think of it as we're going to generate an unadjusted trial balance that from the, the system, possibly an accounting system, and then go through the adjusting process, either possibly done by an outside CPA firm or through a different process, through a different worksheet, and we typically think of us putting that, that trial balance, that unadjusted trial balance into this separate worksheet so that we can then do these, uh, these adjusting entries and make sure that they are correct before putting it back into the normal system. So when we think about it that way, uh, you have a direct line of, well, what's the difference between a, a trial balance and an adjusted trial balance? Well, you can think of the adjusted trial balance as something that we took out of the normal system, we put it into our little worksheets, and then we purposely made these adjustments to uh, the adjusted trial balance to make sure that they are correct as possible to generate the financial statements from. Uh, once we do that, of course, then we'll probably at some point we'll need to enter those adjusting entries into the database system, into the accounting software as well, and we'll have that information there as, as well. But that's going to be the adjusted uh, trial balance. So note that the adjusting entries then, if you see an essay question like this, you may uh, expand a bit on what the essay what the adjusting process is and uh, that's going to be something at the end of the time period that we're going to do in order to make sure the financial statements are correct on an accrual basis. And we typically use this worksheet including an unadjusted trial balance that is just a trial balance that has not been adjusted, then our, adjusted, our adjustment column and then our adjusted trial balance, the trial balance that has been now adjusted for uh, these timing differences or any type of timing problems and therefore is the one that is now ready to be used to create financial statements.